Hi fellows, let's have a look how we can add some fire or better say some heat and some dust particles to a uh, scene and change totally the, the total ambient that we have in this very short clip here. It's just a couple of seconds and I play it on loop here just for the purpose of demonstration. So what I first want to do is I'm going to change the so I add a letterbox effect to it and the next thing is I'm going to my plugin or better say the effect chain, chain, chain what I already prepared and it's just for your information so if you want to add here to this effect chain an effect you click on this one if you want to remove one you go here and remove the selected plugin so it looks like this if you want to add a plug into the chain. You click on it and then you can choose here from dozens and dozens of uh, effects. So I started up with uh, Sharpen and I went to 80, around 80 and now I'm going to activate this so that you will see in fact an immediate result. And the next step would be the uh, color correction and as you can see what I did here was in the low I will explain my decisions in the dark areas I added a little bit of blue I told in the earlier video that I like it my dark areas a little bit blue because of the green tone here I went to uh, a little a, a tiny little bit uh, green and I want the highlights more reddish and this is because that will automatically show more uh, it will have the effect as if it is warmer if it, as if it's a really hot day so I'm activating this settings now by checking the mark and you see that it has in the dark areas a little bit of blue and here the green is just just very green <laughs> and and I have my little bit of red highlights here what, what gives just this little bit of more heat to the image so what I want to do next is going to just a normal uh, brightness and contrast didn't want to fiddle around with the curve here in uh, Sony Vegas Pro uh, this time and I in fact just added a very tiny bit of contrast and brought the contrast center down what contrast center in fact does is it, it shifts the uh, point where the contrast will hit the mark of uh, clipping so you can adjust here when the uh, clipping in the highlights and in the darks will occur so that areas just get very very dark so and of course this is best demonstrated when this is activated so you can see if I change the center that the clipping is curing much faster so I if I bring up the contrast here and I'm going down with the contrast center you see that it's still very contrasty but that the clipping here in the dark areas is much less and we don't lose too much details there so you see that post processing is very important what I want to do next is just for uh, test purposes I want to add a little bit of dust I could add some flicker it's just uh, as it says film effects I want to add dust, activate it here. You will see that the whole thing is by the way slowing down because I have too much applications running at the same time at this moment on the machine. I'm screen recording and I'm doing this. So what I want to do now is, as you can see, uh, probably not see, is the amount of the particles and if I will would drag this to my other monitor, I have two monitors installed, then I would see the particles, but I have really 
to admit that I believe that it's better to render first and watch a rendered version of this and this is exactly what I'm going to do now. I say for now goodbye and uh, after I have said goodbye and asked you to subscribe to my channel you will see this short six second clip in full HD so that you have impression how it worked out so I thank you for watching I also will make a before and after so you will first see without anything and then with with the complete uh, change settings so for now I say goodbye please subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks for watching have a great day and goodbye